Hey everyone, I'm Tammy Salamone. Welcome to your no equipment, body weight only workout. This is gonna be a little tougher, but let's start warming up and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So first, let's just do some little marching in place. Okay, so today I'm trying to push you just a little harder, a little bit to the next level. It's not gonna be easy, but just do the best that you can. Um, it's gonna kind of be a combination of cardio and strength even though you're not using any weights. All you need is your body and a mat if you would like. So that makes it a little more comfortable. But if you don't have a mat and uh, you have carpet or something, you're probably perfectly fine. Okay, so we're gonna warm up for a little bit here, then we're gonna get right into it. And now let's do where we're kind of kicking back. So I'm kicking back and I'm also pulling. Warm up a little bit here, the upper, and the lower body. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for joining me. And just give yourself just a little challenge today. A few more here. Then let's see where we're kind of reaching, alternating reaching up and sending out to the side. Okay. Whew. It's not going to be uh, easy for me either. Oh, and also, we're going to be doing 40 seconds of the exercise, so the hard part. Then you'll have 20 seconds to rest, have a sip of water, whatever you need. And we have a timer here, so we should be able to keep track and you don't have to worry about me messing up. I mean, I probably will mess up at some point, but you know, what are you gonna do? Whew, okay, a few more seconds. We're all warmed up, good deep breath. That was the timer. Okay, now you've got 20 seconds. Rest, take that sip of water, whatever you need. Oh, I like Kind of get prepared. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. It's going to be a wide squat. Toes are going to kind of be pointed out. I'm step, I've got a pretty good wide stance. Here we go. And I'm coming down and back up. You can have your hands here on your waist. You can have your hands out front, whatever works best. So this is a wide squat. So this isn't too bad, right? Now we're doing this for 40 seconds. Then we get our little break. I'll tell you what the next one is. And we're not repeating anything. So just gotta get through these 10 exercises and done. A few more seconds here. Keep going. Only got about five more seconds. Then we get to your little break. All right, perfect. Take your rest. Next, what you're going to do is go into a burpee, which I know you guys have heard about. And if you can't do a burpee, with actually a burpee with, with no jump, we won't do the jump part, we'll do a step back. I will show you both. So in a few seconds here, I'm gonna get going. What I'm gonna do is hands down, jump my feet back, jump in, stand up, okay? Now, if this is too difficult, I want you to come down, step your feet back, step them back in, stand up, okay? So it's a step back instead of the jump back. But if you can do it, keep it going. This kind of works like every, every muscle group in your body, you're gonna feel it. But remember, we're only doing it one time and you're gonna get a little break. A few more seconds. A few more, good. Okay, next is our little break time here. And then we've got to see, oh, a quick little shuffle coming up. So I think you guys are gonna like this one. I'll step a little over to the side. And then, here we go. It's gonna look like, like a little shuffle. There's your bell. So I'm like a little, little shuffle to the one side. And then it's like little quick steps. And then we get so just keep it going, side to side. Whew. Let's see. What do we have coming up next here? Okay. <laughs> keep it going. About 15 more seconds. Just quick, quick step and shuffle to the side. Good job. Good, okay, I need a little sip of water. 
and get that really quickly here. Okay. Next, it's called a traveling plank. It's going to be on the mat. I'm going to show you guys what to do. So I'm going to get down here, plank position. And what you're going to do is come down, down on your elbows, up, up on your hands. Down, down on your elbows, up, up. You know, what you're trying to do is alternate the side that you come up and down, okay? Okay. If this is too difficult, I want you just to do this on your knees. Okay, this is just for 40 seconds. And if you do it on your knees, it's gonna look like this. Okay? Keep it going on your toes if you can. Listen for the timer. Whew. Yes. Okay, another break. Um, okay. Coming up, uh, I think this one will give you slightly a little break. You guys are doing great. Don't give up now. Let's keep it going here. A few more seconds. Okay. Standing quad pulses. Just looks like this. All I'm doing, just standing, it's going to be working the top of your leg right here. What we'll do is, let's do 20 seconds on the one, then we'll switch, so it's not so bad. Kind of give you guys a little break here in the middle. <laughs> and that's 20, let's switch. Okay, but oops, gotta get your balance too, huh? Okay, a few more on this side. Let's see, okay. Next, we're gonna be down using the mat again. They're called plank jacks. Coming up. Stick with this here. And good. Okay. We're going to have a rest here. And next, we're going to come down to plank jacks. So I'll show you what those are in just a few seconds here. Let me catch my breath as well here. I'm going to come down to my back on my hands, okay? Feet out. And you're going to be just going out and in, okay? So like you're kind of doing a jumping jack on the floor. So if you can't do these, you could always do a jumping jack, okay? It's an alternative. It's only 40 seconds, everyone. Halfway. Keep it going. This is good for your entire body as well. You got it. Yes, there's our timer. Stay on your mat because the next one's going to be a slow bicycle crunch. Oh, the rest is good, isn't it? I'm gonna start making my way down here. Get these out of the way. Okay, so you're on your backs. Slow bicycle crunch. Opposite elbow is gonna come to the opposite knee. Okay, and that's it. So this is kind of your regular bicycle crunch, but I'm just having you guys slow it down. Really just think about what you're doing. Think about your muscles. Think about working your abs, or maybe you don't want to think about it. <laughs> you can slow it down and think about what you're going to do when you're done with this. But we are definitely getting there. Let's see, we are on, I think number eight. This is number seven. So a few more exercises. Ooh, there's our rest. Okay. We have a standing ab this time. And slowly make your way up while you're catching your breath here. Your hands are going to be behind your head, just so you know. You're standing, opposite elbow, going to come to the opposite knee. Okay? So really try and focus on bringing that knee towards the elbow. I don't really want to see this, okay? So that's the difference is I'm really trying to kind of stand, you know, tall and bring my legs up. Just do the best that you can do. You just don't want to bend over. Have the knee comes towards the elbow versus the elbow come to the knee. Okay, a few more here. This is number eight. This is so great. Okay, a few more. Think about your abs. Good. Take your rest. 
This next one is not easy, it's called the side plank. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way down here. And I'm gonna show you two options too. So a side plank here on my one arm on my one side. And if this is all you can do, go for it. If you can, I'd like you to have two feet off. I'm holding my arm, see this whole thing is making like a 90 degree. We're just holding this for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So a few more seconds. This is one of the best. And switch quickly, do the best you can. I'm sure you guys can see me here. Come up and there we go. Just hold this plank. Remember, if it's too hard, just drop that bottom leg and do the same exact thing. Two more seconds. We have our last exercise coming up. Okay, take this break. The last one here is called jump squat. So stay with me, don't leave now. Last exercise. I need a little breath there. Okay, this one. Come down into your squat, okay? And then do it to jump. Down, jump, okay? In squat, see, jump. I got my hands forward here, jump. Okay, and you can pick up the speed. You can slow it down. It's a great little cardio move. Also working your lower body. And uh, just get through this one. And then you'll be done. This was an excellent little cardio uh, weight blast today. We're getting a lot done in a very short amount of time. A few more seconds. Ooh. Keep it going. Oh. oh, yes. That is your timer. Oh, really rest. Take a good deep breath now. Take a little side bend here. Oh. Just really let your heart rate come down. I'm really proud of you guys. If anyone stuck with me through the entire workout, I would love to hear about it. Tell me about it in the comments below. I'm so proud of you. It's not easy at all. Next, standing kind of wide with your feet and just slowly kind of come down, reaching towards the floor, okay? Just do the best that you can. Ooh, it's a good stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. And just hold that. And then you're gonna kind of slowly, slowly make your way up. Perfect. Let's do a little shoulder stretch, just the one arm across here. <sighs> Same arm into a little tricep stretch here. Perfect. Switching a little shoulder on the side. Rise up. Keep stretching if you need to. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time.